Assalamu alaikum. I am Afsana Mimi. My ID is 1813030. I am representing my presentation. Welcome to my presentation. My presentation topic is soap and detergent. This is all our soaps. Now let's discuss about soap briefly. Soap. Soaps are sodium salt of sodium or potassium salt of long chain air fatty acid. Let's um, see the example. Example is uh, C17H35COO-N. And here, uh, another example is C15H31COO-N-A. This is also a soap example. Now, this example is also for sodium steroid and the example of uh, C17H31COO-N-A is called sodium flaminate. The, all of these are, uh, uh, all of these, uh, the fatty acid can be saturated or unsaturated. Now, let us discuss about uh, detergent. detergent. Detergents are uh, sodium salt of uh, either long chain alkyl sulfonate or uh, alkyl aryl sulfonic acid. The example of uh, uh, detergents are This is the example of salt, uh, sorry, detergent. Now, let's discuss about the cleansing action of detergent. Uh, for the cleansing action of um, soap and detergent is due to the capacity of, uh, due to the capacity of reducing the surface tension of uh, water, uh, the, then uh, emulsify grease or um, grease or oil and, uh, and retain it in the suspension in water. The capacity of um, the capacity of the cleansing action of soap and detergent can, uh, can be discussed by, by their uh, structure. So this structure is a uh, soap molecule. Here we can see that there is a tail which is hydrophobic and there is a head which is hydrophilic head. Uh, in water, this hydrophilic head uh, attracts the water molecule and the hydrophobic tail attracts the dark molecule of any cluster or any cloth. Um, then they uh, they see they can form the form of um, they can form the micelle. Here we can see that the polar head pointing towards the water and the non-polar head toward, um, pointing the cluster. Then they form a micelle, and this micelle has the ability to clean the dirt from the wa uh, from water or any cluster or any um, uh, cloth. Now let's discuss. Um, uh, there is uh, some types of uh, soap. Uh, that is uh, hard soap and uh, hard soap and soft soap. Hard soap is uh, likely sodium soap and it, it is very, uh, very hard to dissolve and it is uh, can be uh, it is can be uh, prepared from the fat or like animal fat and it is unsaturated. On the other hand, is soft um, uh, soft soap. It is uh, it is also like uh, potassium soap and it is very easy to dissolve in water. And um, it can be prepared from oil or vegetable oil and it is saturated. Now, let's discuss about the type of detergent. There are many types of detergent like anionic detergent, cationic detergent, non ionic detergent, and amphoteric detergent. Now, uh, now, let's discuss about the manufacturing of soap. Manufacturing of soap can be uh, uh, discussed by the uh, preparation of soap. And the preparation of soap is called saponification. Saponification is the uh, process of making soap from fatty acid by, uh, by, uh, from, from fatty acid. Now, in this uh, reaction, uh, the, the saponification reaction is about triglyceride and a base which can be sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide and then it forms uh, glycerol which is a byproduct and our desired product which is soap. Now let's discuss about the manufacturing, uh, the manufacturing of uh, uh, other pro other process which is raw material, raw material of soap. Raw materials of soap. First of all, we can uh, we can um, uh, we can form from uh, soap from the fats and oils. Uh, from fats and oils, there are many um, many fats and oils which can form um, uh, soap or uh, soap that like it uh, is. No, olic acid, flammatic acid, lactic acid, chloric and mystic acid. These all soaps are can used to manufacture soaps in industry. 
Now, the uh, uh, other element is sodium or potassium hydroxide, which is an inorganic base. To um, uh, it is uh, used to produce the uh, uh, produce soap. The, there is a builder. Which uh, builders are used to the builders are used to increase the capacity of uh, cleaning of soap. Then, uh, which also uh, act as uh, the which also act as the uh, improve the texture of the soap and uh, prevent the precipitation. The uh, precipitation for builders, the sodium made of uh, silicate borax, uh, washing soda, sodium borate are used as sodium uh, used as builders. Then we have. We have antioxidant, sodium uh, thiosulfate, sodium uh, sodium hyposulfite, and EDTA are used as of antioxidant. The, for uh, building, uh, for uh, for manufacturing soaps, we have fillers, coloring uh, matters, perfume, and uh, fixation, which is the normal brightness of um, the soap. Then other is optical brightness. We can use uh, for uh, optical brightening uh, is cumulin, and phenyl benzothiazole. Now let's discuss about um, the uh, uh, process flow diagram of our soap making. This is the process. Uh, this uh, um, diagram shows the process flow of diagram uh, process flow of making soap. In this um, uh, in this in this uh, diagram, we can see that there is a hydrolyzer, which is um, which is the main uh, main uh, main uh, structure of the element. We is done the first reaction, which is called uh, uh, fat splitting. Uh, fat splitting in this uh, in this hydrolyzer, we uh, fat and catalyst are uh, uh, catalyst are react in uh, 100, uh, 2030 to 2000, uh, to uh, 230 to 250 degree centigrade uh, temperature and 40 to 45 atmosphere. Then, uh, then there is a two uh, uh, two products are produced, which is glycerin and fatty acid. Then the fatty acid are go going to the flash tank, and the uh, glycerin are going to the iron essence um, iron essence uh, tank. In flash tank, there is a uh, there is a condenser. We, we can condense the um, concentration of the fatty acid, and then it is um, uh, it is it is pro provided in the uh, vacuum state. We have vac in vacuum steel. Uh, the in vacuum steel, the water of the uh, the wa excess water of the uh, fatty acid are, to, um, are decreased, and the waste uh, can be uh, can uh, waste of the uh, water is uh, waste uh, as water is um, uh, decreased. Now, this fatty acid can be uh, can be we, uh, we can um, uh, we can produce in market. On the other hand, we can um, the, the, and the uh, other hand second uh, second reaction is produced. Which is fatty acid and are a inorganic base. Inorganic base like sodium hydroxide or can be potassium hydroxide. This sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide mix are then, produ then produced in blender. And the blender is our in blender. We have three sections. There is a bar stock, a bar stock process, chipping rolls and powder and powder soap powder powder for powder soap. If we want bar soap, then we can uh, we can process in bar stock process. If we want cheaper rolls, then the mixture of salt or fat, uh, salt uh, the mixture of uh, fatty acid and uh, sodium hydroxide is produced in cheaper rolls. And on the other hand, if we want soap powder, then uh, we can uh, get soap powder also. Now let uh, we have uh, we have glycerin in uh, iron essence. Iron essence in an excellent uh, container then it is produced in uh, uh, triple uh, triple effect uh, triple effect evaporator where the excess water is uh, uh, removed and this also this is uh, there is uh, some color also in the room. in this uh, evaporator in uh, this evaporator is also uh, for further for further reaction and further uh, products this is uh, provided in vacuum steel where steam now uh, steam is uh, produced for heating purpose and the um, and the, they they can, we can get you know, in this uh, tank we can get yellow 99 percent yellow glycerin if we want this um, 99 percent of yellow glycerin then it can be marketized and on the other hand if we don't want this uh, 99 percent uh, yellow glycerin this is in uh, this can be um, uh, uh, pro, uh, produced in further um, 
process which is in mixture in this in this mixture carbo uh, uh, attributed carbon is used to magnify this uh, color and uh, the and then it is uh, produced by filler where attributed carbon is removed and yeah, we can get our desired product with if it is 99% white glycerin. This is all about the flow uh, process flow diagram of uh, soap making. Now let's discuss about the difference between soap and detergent. This is all about um, uh, difference, uh, where is definition as we all know. Sodium, now potassium salt of carboxylic acid or fatty acid. Then uh, detergent is sodium or potassium salts of having sulfonated group. The, uh, it is a uh, natural or synthetic and uh, regular uh, functional group of soap is uh, CWNA and the detergent is, is SO3NA. Then we, it is uh, very uh, then it is used as hair, bodies and until cells and the detergent uses laundry, cleaning, homes, etc. Uh, uh, the price of soap is uh, uh, normally cheap and the detergents are very expensive. Uh, then, uh, example of uh, uh, soap, as you all know, sodium isoate, sodium laminate, and the detergent has DM, HDF, and SLS. That's all about my presentation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.